Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to check VLF counts for the databases. If you want to check for single database, uh, we use DBCC log info. When you execute that, it will list all the VLFs and the uh, what is the status to means active. Uh, so all these real from the lesson and we have to count uh, as of now for model database we have six vlfs for this database high vlfs uh, uh, will cause uh, the back backups run very slow and the databases uh, to increase it will not allow to increase very fast these are the two advantage uh, disadvantages we have with vlf so always we need to try this but um, in this video I will restrict to myself that how to check the VLFs uh, how many VLFs for the data for all the databases in the instance and what could what is the status and what are the scripts that are available I will show you in that uh, that will uh, that part okay so for DBCC uh, login for for single databases and we have to manually count here or we we have to use this number to this many VLFs we have so if you I got execute here, we have beautiful script here. When you execute it there, see model database. Where is the model? We have six VLFs. So like that, it will do calculation as well. And if you see this, uh, for this database, I have seven MB size. In that, there is only one active file, and the active file size is 1.8 MB. And inactive files are 5 MB is there. So this is how you came to one conclusion on which part and which database you have to work uh, on the regarding the VLFs okay so I have one more beautiful script in the internet so this script also will give you what exactly uh, the VLF count is um, yeah see this is how this script will give the VLF counts. I will provide all these scripts uh, in the description box. I hope you may like it. If you like it, uh, comment uh, your opinion on this. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.